Yes, okay, my dear learners. Once again, I welcome you to our e-learning hub, Good Choice Course in God We Trust. So, your teacher today is Akim, as usual. We are going to start with our word bank as we've been doing it all along. So, those of who have just joined us, please, I urge you to just go and get all the previous links so that you come up um, or you come on board with us together. So, together we can't divide it, we can fall. Uh, please keep safe, wash your hands, wear your mask as you are getting ready 2022 at uh, our opening of schools by January. God willing. Okay, let us get started. All right, so our word we have nine words as usual. So our first word is a V word, and this is vagina. We have ovary, evaporation, reversible, biological, bacteria, marketing, gamete, and plate. Okay, let us start with this last word, which is read as plate. Mm -hmm. uh, when we are reading spelling, we get to know uh, to remind ourselves. A uh, few things about the words we've chosen uh, for the lesson. Now here we have the word plate. What do you know about this one? So a plate means a female chick. So a chick, remember, is a young bird. So when it is a female one, we call it a plate. So this is plate right from our poultry. P5 first time. Uh -huh. So the, the opposite of a plate is a cockerel. So if a male chick. So a cockerel is a male chick, whereas a plate is a female chick. Then we come to this one. This is bacteria. And the bacteria they belong to what we call monera and it's very wrong to call them bacteria as you no know. when they are very many we call them bacteria when it is one it is called a bacterium so they are microscopic meaning that we can only see them or view them using a micro a microscope and this bacterium uh, we said they have a sexual reproduction and which type is this one uh, it is binary fusion so they divide themselves in two uh, two daughter cells then from there we have this other word and this one's read as evaporation so some members make a mistake of putting you in the word evaporation gosh this is wrong so you is not there so it is evaporation so uh, this is the process by which a liquid changes into a gas if we go back to rain cycle so we are having a water body then we have the sun here so the process by which this heat reaches the earth here onto the water body here it is radiation so uh, this water is going to evaporate so this process is called evawati evaporation so the process by which a liquid turns into a, ga a gas so, uh, the word is evaporation so don't put you there it's wrong okay so from there we have this word ovary so ovary uh, ovary so if flowers have the ovary even animals female animals they have the ovary being that we are looking at the reproductive system so we are going to look at ovary into uh, details then we have this word here and this word is read as biological so some of you write biological like this one is uh, you leave out this o and you write biological oh no this is wrong so the word is biological from the word biology then biological this is a type of change so we have four types of changes one we have biological changes at uh, two we have what to call the chemical changes are uh, that much with the physical changes and also the changes in the atmosphere so this word is biological it is biological okay so we have this other word here this word is read as gamete so in the previous lesson that was lesson 14 uh, we said gamete means a reproductive word a reproductive cell so a gamete is a reproductive cell and we said uh, in male animals uh, that is a sperm in a female animal it is called an ovum when they are very many we call them over okay so from there we have this word here this word is read as mal coating the word is marketing so this one we discussed it in the classification of plants uh, and we said this one is also uh, a sexual reproduction and uh, then this type of uh, this asexual reproduction is under what we call the artificial vegetative proper propagation in plants okay so we have this one this word is reversible the word is reversible so some of you make a mistake when you're writing this word reversible you write reversible instead of i you put a then you make it able reversible now this is wrong the word is reversible so to reverse it means to go back from one uh, uh from one uh, state to another state then from that new state to 
original state so to go back to original or to the old one so it is reversible and the type of changes that I do this are called the physical changes then lastly we have our word here the v word this one's really has vagina and some of you write virgin no it is vagina uh, this is uh, called a bathy canal so the words read them together there this is vagina reversible marketing gamut biological ovary evaporation bacteria and a pullet so i write these words in your book as usual and then we move on and what are we going to do we are going to look at our assignments diagram all right uh, the diagram for today we are looking at now the changes in the states of matter mm. the changes in the states of matter remember matter is anything that has weight and occupies space so matter occupies anything to be called matter it has to occupy space and it has to be with mass or it has to be with what we call a uh, weight that's we call this one a uh, matter then matter exists in the three states uh, that is the solid state we are having the liquid state and we are having the gaseous state so uh, when we look at all these ones a solid state we are going to take one sub substance that can exist in the three states of matter one that is water so water can be a solid and water as a solid is called ice then water as a liquid is called water and water as a gas is called the steam or what you can call the water vapor now we are going to see the in, uh, uh, interconversions from a solid to a liquid, liquid to a gas, gas uh, to a liquid, a gas to a solid, like that. So the changes in the states of matter from one state to another, from that one to this one, like that. So, uh, but before we go into that one, uh, when we are looking at that, uh, the changes in the states of matter, all those changes are said to be physical changes. We call them the physical what? Uh, physical changes. Remember, from primary five, second term, a third term, we said uh, physical changes. Uh, these are changes that are reversible so they can go back where they came from and they don't form a new substance so there is no new substance formed and there is no change in e mass so there is no change in e mass and also uh, there is no change in e weight okay so let us um, uh, get started uh, we are going to represent these three states of matter using these circles so I have this one then I have this and then I also have this so they can give me my arrow the first arrow it is showing me uh, from this state coming to this state then from also at uh, this state here to this one and from that state then coming to this state then sometimes they tend to hide these states they give us X here they give us Y here they give us M and they only give us one guiding word let us assume uh, that our guiding word here is evaporation now when they give evaporation then they can tell you uh, to identify these hidden states of matter do you know what are you going to do um we get to know what evaporation is after understanding what evaporation is then we are going to fix uh, all the states of matter uh, where uh, applicable then what is evaporation so from our bank we said evaporation is the process by which a liquid turns into a gas so when a liquid turns into a gas under heat then that one is called evaporation so we look at our arrow so our arrow is coming from y to m meaning that from a gas i mean from a liquid turning to a gas therefore our state here it is a what uh, this is a liquid state now this is a liquid then going to a gas so m is the gas then automatically the remaining one is a so a solid so this is a solid liquid and a gas so uh, evaporation so again we are looking at a solid turning into a liquid so maybe what is that solid the solid can be the ice then the ice is turning into water what is that process then that process is going to be called the melting so uh, this is uh, melting so melting is the process by which a solid turns to a liquid ice turning to water but don't say the process by which ice turns to water no it is the process by which a liquid i mean a solid is turning to a liquid for example it can be with margarine uh, margarine that's what you call prestige blue band and so on when you put it um uh, uh, in maybe hot water or porridge what's going to happen it's now going to do what to melt or you put it in a saucepan then it's now going to turn into a liquid that is what you call melting then again we can get this liquid uh, turning back to 
a solid so this liquid can go back to a solid so that this water going back into ice what are you going to do you put it in a fridge so what's going to happen it's now going to be frozen so the process becomes freezing so freezing is the process by which a liquid turns to a solid all right so now from there uh, let us now look at this one uh, this gas can also be taken back to a liquid so evaporation liquid to a gas then uh, this liquid can go back to um no gas can go back to a liquid so this process here it is called condensation so uh, this one is condensation so condensation is the process by which a gas turns to a liquid so meaning that condensation is the opposite of ever operation then we are having this one a solid turning directly to a gas and now uh, this process is called sublimation and a solid which can do that it is what we call ammonium chloride mm -hmm. so you have ammonium chloride then we have iodine crystals uh, iodine crystals and also you have what you call solid carbon dioxide so these ones are called the sublimates so they can sublime so the process by which a solid turns directly to a gas is called sublimation but again this gas can also go back to a solid state and this process is called depowati deposition so deposition sublimation melting freezing concession evaporation they are examples of physical changes why they are reversible they don't form a new substance and there is no change in any mass so melting is the process by which a solid turns the liquid whereas freezing a liquid to a solid then sublimation a solid turning into a gas then a gas to a solid that is deposition then a gas to a liquid a gas to a liquid that is condensation and also a liquid to a gas is called evaporation so these are changes in the states of matter okay let us get what is here onto this diagram here now when you look at this one this one is a solid so uh, let us get the suitable color here uh, let us use red let us use this one here now when you look at this one this one is a solid state of matter then this one in the glass automatically this one becomes the liquid then here this one becomes the vapor i think you can see it this is the gaseous state now here they are showing us that the gas turning into a liquid gas going back to a liquid automatically this one becomes condensation condensation not condensation but condensation then again this liquid is now going to come back to a gas and this is going to be our process we call the evaporation so now these physical processes evaporation and condensation they help in what to call rain formation uh -huh. so from there we are having this liquid coming to a solid automatically uh, this is going to be free freezing then this is solid coming back to a liquid and uh, this is going to be our melting aha uh -huh. then again we are having a solid a uh, turning to uh -huh. then you are having or oh, how uh -huh, we are having this one this arrow from here up to here directly so uh, from a gas going to a solid so the gas going to a solid directly and uh, this is what we call the depowati deposition then again up here we are having a solid turning to a gas and this one is what we have called subwati sublimation and now those things that can sublime we call them sublimates and the example we have what we call iodine crystals i think from school you saw them iodine crystals and then it too we are having what we call a uh, solid carbon dioxide solid carbon dioxide uh, which is used as a coolant um, and also we have what we call ammonium chloride so ammonium chloride so these are the best examples of the things that can sublime so sublimation melting evaporation solid liquid gas freezing condensation and deposition so this is as this has been our diagram work for today changes in the states of matter and all the changes are physical are changes okay so let us go and look at other our work for today 
all right my dear Lana, as usual we are now moving on with our human body and uh, in the previous session we looked at reproduction uh, introduction then here we are going to look at uh, the female reproductive uh, system today we are now looking at the female reproductive uh, system now this female reproductive system is made up of one the primary sex organs uh, made up of the primary sex organs uh -huh. two then it has these other organs which you call the secondary organs and again it has also the glands uh-huh uh, it has also other uh, glands. Uh, the glands, yeah, this is where we put the mammary glands that secrete milk for those female animals and also uh, the ectoc uh, the, um, uh, and some uh, the progesterone glands and so on there. So, uh, apart from these glands, let us now start with the primary sex organs. So, the primary sex organs here, they are at uh, they are a pair. They are in a pair. So we have a pair. And what are these ones? Uh, these ones are called the ovaries. So uh, these ovaries, their importance is to produce what we call a uh, uh, gamete. That's the male gam the female gamete, which we call the ova or the ovum when it is one. And apart from producing these gametes, they also produce what we call uh, the sex hormones. So they hope us to produce the hormones. Uh, one of the hormones we have what we call the oestrogen. Then there is what we call the progesterone, as we are going to see later on. So the ovaries are very important. They produce the gametes, and apart from gametes, um, the the female gamete that is the ova or the ovum. Then they also produce the female hormones. Mm -hmm. Then apart from uh, this these ovaries, then. Uh, they are in a pair, meaning that there are two. So we have the secondary organs, and the secondary organs we are having in the uterus. Uh, there is the birth canal, which we call the vagina, and then we have what we call the fallopian tube. And there is the fallopian tube, and also uh, the cervix. Okay, so let us now start with these ovaries, and we take that uh, to see uh, where they are located. Uh, these ovaries are found in uh, the lower abdominal cavity so they are found in the lower abdominal cavity um, in the pelvic region so they are found in the pelvic uh, region so they are two and they are very small they are very small and they are oval so they are very small and oval like this they are two this one and another and this way now these ovaries they are suspended they are hanging in space so they are being connected to the abdominal wall uh, by what we call mesentric uh mesentric these are thin mucus layers so it's a thin mucus layer of thin mucus membrane uh, uh, if I try to draw it, just it is m mucus holding this over its hanging suspended. So this mucus here, it is just called a uh, meso ovarian. So that one's called meso ovarian. And then uh, the work of this, the work of this ovary is to produce the mature ovum. We shall look at that process where we are going, which is called ovulation. Then this ovary, it produces the male, the female gamete, that is the ovum, when it is ready. Then, as it is being uh, produced, it has to be received. So it is received by a tube-like structure. Uh, if I try to draw it here, and this tube-like structure is what we call uh, the fallopian tube. So uh, this one is what we call the fallopian tube. And once we don't call this one the fallopian tube, we can also call it uh, the oviduct. But this oviduct, um, uh, it has regions. There's this solid part here, and this solid part is what we call the ampulla. And then this one is what we call stomach. Uh, is damaged this one and then um, here there is the funnel like structure and then this funnel like structure is done to receive the ovum on its release uh, this funnel like structure is what we call uh, infundibular uh, infundibular then uh, this funnel like structure it has finger like structures and these finger like structures are called a uh, fimbly so these fimbly they are moving they are like your fingers and they are keeping on uh, moving as why are they moving in order to be ready to receive the ovum in case it has been uh, produced so all these parts in the uh, fimbly the ampulla is stomach so all of them forming what you call uh, they are forming what we call the fallopian tube so within this fallopian tube this is where we are going to have a fertilization uh, taking place uh, okay, let us first get the rubber here. Mm, we we'll first, we'll first make this one clear. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, like this. 
okay um, we get a pen oh all right so uh, this one uh, we have this tube then this tube is now going to open into a bag like structure like this here so a bag like structure like this then this bag like structure is what we call the uterus uh, this is the uterus if you don't question the uterus uh, it is also called the womb then this uterus um uh, it is made up of three layers uh, we have this outer layer and uh, this outer layer is called the perimetrium and uh, this one is called the perimetrium perimetrium wall then we have the second layer here and now this second layer here is what we call a mesometrium mesometrium then it has the last one which is highly vasicular uh, so this one it is highly vasicular, uh, just like this. Now this uh, the um, the innermost is what we call the endometrium, endometrium. So within this uterus, this is where we are having what to call implantation, as we are going to discuss uh, later on. So all this one is the uterus. We are having implantation. We will say it here in the fallopian tube or the oviduct. We are having what we call a uh, fertilization. Then. Uh, down here we are having what we call uh, the cervix so this is the cervix then this cervix is going to end up into uh, this canal here and this canal it is um, uh, this canal uh, it is a rough canal and this canal is called the vagina so once you don't call this one the vagina it is also called um, the birth canal uh, this one is called the birth canal then this vagina ends up with an opening and this opening is what we call the vaginal opening and once we don't call it the vaginal opening it is also called the vulva then this vulva it has a thin membrane and this thin membrane is only seen in the vagins and this thin membrane is called the hymen so and this hymen is just a characteristic of only the vagin uh, females so this is the vulva then we are having the vagina then from the vagina we are having the cervix then uh, the cervix has two openings this upper opening and this lower opening here so uh, this is uh, the diagram showing uh, what you call uh, the female reproductive system then this upper part of the uterus is called a uh, 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 fin uh, fin right it's not this one it starts with uh, let us get that okay let us uh -huh, um uh fundus this one is just uh, okay fundus as you are saying it here this upper soil part so this one is just an extension uh to the uh to to the next uh to the second a uh, pair of uh, to the second over because there are two they are in a pair so let us now take a look and we, we rename and uh, we compare as we are naming this so here uh, this is our female reproductive system so let us now label rate so what you are seeing here let us get a clear a clear color here let us use let us use this red okay so what you are seeing here this is the ovary and we say the work of the ovary is to produce the female gamete those are the ovum or the ovum with one and apart from that one to produce the female sex organs that or i mean hormones as in the oestrogen and progesterone then these finger like structures are what we've called the fimboli then um this is the fallopian duct the fallopian funnel which is called infandibula then this is all of this one here is what we've called the fallopian tube so uh, this is the fallopian tube or uh, the oviduct where fertilization is going to take place and now this swelling part of the fallopian tube is what we've called the ampulla then uh, this one this mucus layer or lining or membrane is what we've called uh, the meso ovarian so we have meso ovarian then we have another one which is going to connect it to uh, sorry this is the ovarian ligament sorry uh, this is the ovarian ligament adjoining uh, or holding this ovary uh, to the uterus or the uterus walls then we have another one behind there which is holding it onto the abdominal wall and that is what we call the meso ovarian so this one is ovarian ligament then the other one there it is what we called uh, the meso uh, ovarian and uh, then um, this one is what we've called the fundus 
uh, this is the fundus then this is the uterus as you can see uh, the womb it has it is thick it has three layers we have this one the outer layer uh, which we call the perimetrium then this one the second layer which we called the mesometrium and again this one which is highly vascular uh, which we called uh, the um, endometrium so here is the wall uh, here is the um, uterus a uh, uterus then these are uterus walls then here this narrow uh, uh, opening you are seeing here is what we called the cervix then ties to openings the lower opening and the upper opening then this is the internal o, uh, internal os then this is the external os that opening then all these are uh, the rough structure you are seeing is what we call uh, the vagina so the vagina it is um ending up with what we call the vulva or the vaginal opening with a thin membrane uh, which is called the hymen so with this one is the diagram this one is showing the female reproductive system so in the next lesson we shall now look at it uh, fully and we should look at these organs into uh, into their details so let us go in uh, for the assignment for our assignment here let us change the color let us first change the color here to to white okay we get the chalkboard um another chalkboard here all right so our number one here uh, which part uh, which part of the female reproductive system of the female reproductive system reproductive system uh, produce gametes number two where does fertilization uh, take place in a cow number three identify the process <laughs> identify the process that takes place in the uterus number four in the uterus number four name the membrane name the membrane uh, that closes the vagina the vagina opening in vagins number five how useful a beach number six define reproduction number seven draw and label all the parts of a female reproductive system number eight That is a commit. Okay, you've been a good learner. We meet in the next lesson. That will be lesson 16.